What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Super Mega Baseball 3 where today we're finally playing Playoff Baseball with the Sharks. It's season 2 and this year we finally put together a solid enough season to make it to the postseason after missing a year ago. We put together a 29-19 and 19 season and I feel like this team is built to go on a playoff run. This season certainly had some surprises. There were some players that played a lot better than I expected and some players who were a lot worse than I expected. But I still think we have a very good core on this team. We have some guys who hit for really good contact like Casey Daniels. We have great power on this team as well with Gonzalez, Seymour, and the big season from Neil Hope. I think this is a pretty overall complete team. Even our pitching can be pretty good, but... I don't think it's necessarily the biggest strength of our team. Tyrus Sparks is going to be pitching today, of course, and I think that Tanner Parker was really good, Luis Velez put up really good numbers, and then I think that Zane Rose got a lot better as the season went on, and I think that our starting rotation might be a bit of a strength going into these playoff games. So we open it up here today by taking on the Firebirds, game one of five, and that's the only game we're going to focus on today. Next episode, probably do the highlights of game two, and then we'll play out game three, which could be an elimination game, but we don't know yet. So we get Tehran Rockets from the Firebirds against us today. Great junk, good accuracy, low velo. We'll have to see if I'm able to handle whatever his uh, breaking pitches are, probably a slider and curveball. Let's take a look at their numbers from this season. First off, here are the best players on their team. Their only A player is Roland Rowland, but they have four A- minus players and a couple B plus position players. Pitching wise, nobody is above a B plus, so they definitely seem like an offensive team. For comparison, here is what we have for ratings. We have one A-minus player, three B-plus players for uh, offense, and then three pitchers who are at least an A-minus grade, including the rookie Zane Rose. This season, the Firebirds seem to have hit a lot of home runs. I wish that this game had like some team stats and not just the player stats to compare, because it seems like they've hit a lot of home runs. I just haven't done the math or anything. Only two in double digits, but it seems that there's some power all over this lineup. As far as averages go, and starters, they have two hitting over 300, but a couple more who are pretty close. And then for pitching. A couple starters here with solid ERAs. Tehran Rocket had their second best. We can't do any development or anything, so all these funds are going to carry over to next season, and I kind of wanted that to be the case because I don't know what we're going to lose in the offseason, and maybe some upgrading early on next year will uh, help if anybody does uh, retire or leave in free agency. So here's game one, everybody. The playoffs get underway. Sharks and the Firebirds. We're going to go with a pretty standard lineup for us this season. I will get Boof Cobb in right field today, and we'll have, of course, Neil Hope starting. And here we go, everybody, finally getting into the playoff action. It's that time of year, and now we have it in our series with the Sharks. Leading off, Roland Rowland against Tyrus Sparks. Sparks led the league in strikeouts this season and had a top five ERA. We're going for a strikeout here to start the day, and it's rolled over to Neil Hope. Quickly, one away here in the first. Here is Finnegan Little. Wish we had some stats here from the regular season, and I wouldn't mind if the mojos carried over, and the fitness for that matter. Like, sometimes you have players and teams going hot into the postseason, and they're able to go on runs. 1-2 count for Sparks, and laying off the changeup, we go 2-2. Two and two. Full count to Little. In the air to left field, and Cooker will have to cut this off. It's a base hit. All right, Flip Stewart now. Three hitting shortstop. Trying to get a ground ball here. I'll throw a couple changeups to start this at-bat. 
And we get ahead in the count. Now we're going outside. Curveball away just off the plate. Runner goes. Lifted foul. And 100 miles per hour blows him away. Strikeout number one for Tyrus Sparks. And here is Teron Mejia. Grounded right at Ollie Sparks, and the inning is over. Good job by Tyrus Sparks. And now we didn't hit the best to close the season. I didn't hit great. Hopefully here in the playoffs, things can be uh, a little bit more exciting as we quickly get ahead in the count. 2-1. And 3-1 one. And one to Booth Cobb to start the day. Outside, and we draw a walk. All right, Casey Daniels, he hit almost 400 this year. He did win the batting title. Now trying to see what he can do in the postseason. There's a good one to hit. Lifted in the shallow left, and easy play for Flip Stewart. So for the middle of our order today, it's going to go Waddle, Hope, Seymour, and then Ty Gonzalez. Here's Waddle with one away. Seeing some misses here from Rocket. And again, a 3-1 count. Easy takes, and that is going to be another walk. That's two in the inning. We don't usually see a lot of walks in this series. But now an RBI chance for Hope. Oh, man. Hope drives it out to right field, but straight to Finnegan Little, and it's the second out. That brings up Sylvester Seymour. Looking for something low. Inside. Everybody pitches Seymour right there, and I don't like that pitch. But now an 0-2 count to Sylvester Seymour. And just keeping the at-bat going. Oh, man. Inside, we chase it, and that's the inning. After two walks, we get nothing, and we go to the second here, Marlon Harper. And quickly, another two-strike count for Tyrus Sparks. We're going change-up, and he drills it into center field. Aaron Uptown at bats. They're not going after too many of these first pitches. And that is a pop-up into shallow right center. Should be an easy play for Waddle. Matthias Baker at bat. A lot of power here, and I'm hoping that I can't give him anything he can square up. On the ground right at Seymour. Could be two. And around the diamond we go. Double play. Bottom two now. Upstairs for another ball. On the ground and stopped by Stewart at short. He will make the play. Out number one. All right. Rocket has made it through the middle of our order successfully. And now Sonny Cooker. Another good strike on the inside, 1-2. And Cooker drives it out. We had 98 power there, but it's not enough. I just haven't been able to hit well with him this season for whatever reason. That brings up Ollie Sparks. Had a home run last episode. And connects on one here, driven out to left field and gone! Ollie Sparks with our first playoff run of the series. 392 feet. Kind of a similar home run there to uh, Mike Brasso's for the Rays as they beat the Yankees and moved on to the ALCS. Here is Logan Aguirre now with us up one. On the ground and should be an easy play with Rocket covering and we'll head to the third. 8-9-1 hitters due up here for the Firebirds. 
Usually you see more aggressiveness out of these hitters when you're throwing first pitch strikes. But not today. And that's a three pitch strikeout. That was pretty easy. Good job, Sparks. And Brady Shannon. You know, when last season ended, I thought Sparks was going to test free agency and possibly retire. I didn't realize he was going to be here for another season. And now he's got a chance to pitch us into the playoffs and beyond. So two down. Here's Rowland. I think I'm getting a little repetitive here in some of my pitch sequences. So trying to mix it up a little. And Rowland pops it up behind third base. Seymour makes the catch and will hit again. Just three hits combined to this point. Here's Boof Cobb. Oh, underneath it and popped up for the catcher. Easy play. Casey Daniels. Ripped it right at uptown. Quickly two away here in the third. That brings up to Mario Waddle. And Waddle drills it to Stewart. And that's a very quick one, two, three inning. Like four pitches. Whoops. Little drives one out to center. Waddle chasing it deep in the outfield. And he just makes the catch. Almost messed that one up. Here is Flip Stewart. Let's go first pitch curve. He hammers it. Oh, Seymour can't make the play. And Cooker can't stop it. That'll be a one out double. Teron Mejia gets the RBI opportunity. Firebirds looking for the equalizer. Won't throw everything in the zone here. Strike two. 2-2 two -two count. I say we go change up. And it's driven out to left. Cooker makes the catch. Thought that might go to the wall off the bat. But now two away. Sparks looking for another zero on the board. Marlon Harper looks at strike one. The curve is lifted into right field. Back goes Cobb at the track. And he's got plenty of room. Pitching around the double. Bottom four now. Neil Hope. A bit late on that swing. Down the line again. Should reach the seats. One and two. Hope connects and drills it to Finley Jarvis. It's the first out. We're making some good contact, though. I feel like it's only a matter of time before we start getting a few more hits. Ooh, a bit early on that one. Gotta remember, we're not gonna see much velo here from Rocket. And now a bit late. Three and two. And he misplayed it. Rolling slowly to Stewart, and Seymour beats it out for an infield hit. Nicely done. Here is Gonzalez. And we're early on that one. 0 oh 2. Gonna go contact swing here. Oh no. What a diving catch! Rocket almost gets the double play. Probably my worst chase so far. Two away for Sonny Cooker. Oh wow. What is that swing? 1 and 2. Way too low. And it's drilled up the middle. He left that over the plate. Two on, two down here for the Sharks trying to extend this lead. As we make our way again to Ollie Sparks who already homered once. Sparks into right field. It's down for a hit. Seymour holds that third, and the bases are loaded for Logan Aguirre. Do we consider going to some power off the bench here? 
and trying to get a big number on the board. Could we go to Preston Sullivan and then play Hudson Lumen? Aguirre was great this year, but what do we think is the right call? We're going to go with the power. Preston Sullivan in the game. Bases juiced here in the fourth. Sullivan into left field. It pays off a hit and the bases stay loaded. All right, 2-0 for Booth Cobb. Ball one, missing low. Rockets will throw his 60th pitch right here. And it's in for a strike. Two and one. Cobb. It is in the right field. Another base hit. Three nothing Sharks. They're still loaded. We're not done. Casey Daniels. We're going contact swing again. They're working. Into shallow center. This is gonna fall in. Shannon can't catch it. And it's five nothing Sharks. What an inning here. And we still get Tyrus Sparks. Oh, that was a bad one. But I had a couple hits that I got lucky on. So four on the board. All right, everybody. We can't lose this game. Not after that. So you put up five here for your ace. You got to win the ball game. Diving by Seymour, and he can't play it cleanly, so a base hit for Baker. Power and high pitch activated, so we're pitching low here to Jarvis. Hit to Seymour. On a line, he makes the catch. And that's two down. Brady Shannon. Firebirds desperate for something on offense. And this is hit up the middle. Under the glove of Sparks. I didn't think I'd have to die for that one. But now two on for Rowland. Firebirds want to at least chip away at this deficit. Laid off. It's strike two. And now we're going out of the zone. Tapped it. And this is slow. Sparks makes the throw, but not in time. Base is loaded now for Finnegan Little. What an opportunity for the Firebirds. Popped up. Lumen back at the screen. And it's going to be out of reach into the first row. Just missed that one. And he hammers it out to left. Cooker is back at the track to make the catch. And it's still 5-0 Sharks. All right, we got out of that jam. And now bottom five. Neil Hope. Got a bit excited there for the hanging breaking ball. 0-2. Oh and, and it's drilled into center field right at Shannon. I'm not expecting Rocket to pitch a whole lot more. Stamina's down. He's also tense. And Seymour delivers another hit. And this is going to be extras. Maybe. No, we'll go back. Shannon got to that one pretty quick. Rocket's still out there. Here's Ty Gonzalez. So what's your philosophy if you're the Firebirds here? Do you just keep Rocket in there because... You know, maybe this game is kind of a lost cause and you don't want to use up your bullpen in a 5 nothing game when we have our ace playing as well as he is. I can understand that strategy. Great stop by Rowland. They're going to get two! What a defensive play! Or do you say 5 nothing is not too much and you go to your bullpen and try to chip away? Ooh, a wild swing there. We got him off balance, everybody. Gotta strike him out now. And we do. Two seamer in on the hands. Laying off two to start this at bat. 
And a slow roller to Ollie Sparks. Marlon Harper with two away. Two quick strikes from Tyrus Sparks. And that is hammered. This has a shot. It's definitely out of here. Well, there's the first run for the Firebirds. A solo shot in the sixth. 470 feet. They're finally on the board. Still not looking to take Sparks out anytime soon. Will it go fair? Nope. K-Man activated. Come on, you know you want to swing at that. Ooh, broken bat. Let's break this one while we're at it. Or lifted. Shallow right. Here's Sparks, and he makes the catch. A long run. And here we go, bottom six. Tehran Rocket still out there. Cooker drives one to the gap. And Shannon cuts it off. Out number one. Ollie Sparks, two for two on the day. Oh my, he's just underneath that one. Could have been another solo shot. Two down for Rocket. And now they go to Lucas Hawkins. They go to their bullpen now. And Hudson Lumen gets his first that bat. We'll be patient here to start. Nothing to swing at here. No swing coming now. And it's a four-pitch walk. All right, Boof Cobb with a runner on. Now he finds the zone, and Cobb drives it out to center, and Shannon ranges back to make the catch. So with Sparks going into the seventh year, I think that, you know, maybe one more sharp hit, and I'd take him out. But if we can save the bullpen as much as possible here in game one, that would set us up nicely. Lumen, easy. One down here in the seventh. Finley Jarvis. That's foul. I'm just throwing one up there just to, uh, to break the trend. I'm not trying to be super predictable right now. So literally threw one I knew he wouldn't swing at. Just to mess it up. And it's right back to Sparks hit weekly for the second out. Way inside here to Shannon. Haven't thrown that pitch yet. Breaks up the trend a little bit. And then... Hope can't make the catch. So it didn't work there. Runner on here for the Firebirds. It's Rowland. I think we'll go to the bullpen now. Let's go with Velez. Lefty, lefty matchup. Under the hood. Some of you have said that uh, this is factored in. Uh-oh. Missed it. Sparks can't catch it. And Cobb tried to stop it. And now runners at the corners. Another chance for the Firebirds to cut into this lead. No chasing here. Pitching around a little a bit. Finally a strike. Slider hit into the gap. Cooker's over. He's not going to catch it, and it's going to plate two. Waddle gets it in quickly. It's an RBI double, and now 5-3 Sharks. Firebirds now one big swing from tying this game. Flip Stewart, one for three on the day with a double. And we get ahead in the count. There we go, big strikeout for Velez. But now we might want a couple insurance runs. We go bottom seven with Casey Daniels. That is in there.
All right, we take a couple. Three and one. Getting into some good counts today. And then I swing at bull four. Waddle 0 for 2 with a walk. Almost a double. Getting ahead in the count again. 3 and 1. At least it wasn't ball 4. 3 and 2. Waddle drills it to Shannon, and that's the second out. Neil Hope 0 for 3 on the day. Hope in the air to center field. This one's back, and Shannon makes the catch. To the eighth. New pitcher. Let's go Parker. And then we'll try to set up Andres Valdez. Wow, a three-pitch strikeout to start his day. That one looking... Nice pitch on the corner. Marlon Harper. Five pitches, five strikes. Oh, I thought we were going to have a chance to go for an immaculate inning. We got the first five pitches right. All right, two down now. It's Aaron Uptown. Two quick strikes again. And off the plate. Lifted. Popped up. Sparks. And we'll have a chance to win this in the ninth, everybody. Maybe one more run, though. We got Sylvester Seymour here. Two for three on the day. Two singles. Big cut there. Couldn't connect. Seymour drills it to Stewart. Ty Gonzalez is 0 for 3, and now tense. Oh my, that would have fixed the mojo. We get ahead in the count again, it's happened all day. Strike 2 on the outside. Wow. I was going contact swing there because I wanted a, just a higher likelihood of a hit to fix mojo. Because I know that's going to carry on into the next game as we get jammed but still get a hit. Ollie Sparks is having a good day. And pops up. Barely missed that one. And here we go to the ninth, everybody, looking for our first playoff win. Seven, eight, nine hitters due up facing Andres Valdez with a two run lead. Starting with the slider. And Baker connects, but is way ahead of it. The fastball is hit weakly. Sparks. Routine. Out number one. Broke the bat, and this one won't go far. Lumen makes the catch, and we're one out away. Brady Shannon. Looking to extend the game for the Firebirds. He's behind it. Can he catch up to it? We're going inside again. Can he handle it? No, he can't. Looking at 101 on the inside corner. That's your ball game, everybody. A Sharks win in game one. 5-3. And how big was that fourth inning? The pinch hitting of Preston Sullivan. We get three straight hits with the bases loaded. And we win a solid baseball game today. Pretty happy with that performance. There was also an excellent suggestion last episode to watch some of the elimination games from the other matchups here in the playoffs. And I'll definitely look to do some of that. I'll try to record some of those elimination games and we'll get to see some of the other teams move on. And thankfully it's just... We play one game, everybody else plays one game, so it's a very simple schedule. We're never going to be simming like multiple games of theirs in a row, unless it's uh, we already clinched or something. But it should be pretty easy to get those games recorded. Maybe not all of them, 
but uh, I can definitely get some of them. So next episode, what we're going to do is watch game two, Zane Rose versus Bear De La Cruz, and then play game three, which could be an elimination matchup for the Sharks. So that's it for today, everybody. Sharks get their first win. We'll be on to the next games here shortly. Thank you all for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe, and the playoffs will continue soon. Have a great day.